Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Particle Physics. Today we will discuss strangeness conservation. So we have seen that there are a lot of particles in the particle world. Hadrons are the particles that are affected by the strong force. We classify the hadrons as mesons and baryons. Mesons are the bosons and baryons are the fermions. Baryons were further classified into two categories, that is hyperons and nucleons. So observing the hyperons and kaons, where hyperons which belongs to the baryons and the kaons which belongs to the mesons, it was noted that they are created in strong interaction. That is, they are created within the order of time, that is to minus 22 seconds, whereas their lifespan is of the order of 10 to minus 10 seconds. That is, the decay in the order of 10 to minus 12 seconds. That means that their lifespan is 1000 billion times greater than their order of their creation time. It indicates that they are decayed by weak interaction. Generally, the particles produced in strong interaction are decayed by the strong interaction itself. Hence, this observation was taken as a strange behavior of kaons and hyperons. So studying further in depth, it was also concluded that these particles are also created in pairs. See some examples. The pi plus p produces the k plus sigma plus. And pi minus p produces lambda zero plus k zero. Where this k and sigma, this lambda and k0 are the strange particles showing the strange behavior. But scientists could never observe a reaction producing single such strange particle. That is, they could not observe the, this kind of reaction. This p plus p produces p plus lambda 0 plus pi plus even though it does not violate any other conservation law. In 1953, Gelman and Nishijima, two famous figures in the field of particle physics, independently proposed a theory, a quantum number strangeness, yes, exists, which is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction but not in weak interaction. Unlike the previous quantum numbers, the baryon numbers, the lepton numbers, which were conserved in all type of interaction, but the strangeness which is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction, but need not conserve in weak interaction. The strange particles are ascribed a certain value of strangeness is to each strange particle. All other particles, other than the strange particles, are assigned a strangeness s equal to zero. So an example, this pi minus plus p, both are the non-strange particles, so having s equal to zero, produces the lambda zero plus k zero. This lambda zero is assigned s equal to minus one and k zero is equal to plus one. So the net yes, the net strangeness before the reaction and after the reaction is zero, hence the strangeness is conserved in this reaction. So this is the reason why the strange particles are created in pairs. Means they are created in pairs to conserve the strangeness quantum number. Really the Strangeness for the different strange particles, the strangeness value for the different strange particles were calculated or deduced 
by setting strangeness s equal to minus 1 for lambda 0 particle arbitrarily. It was set arbitrarily s equal to minus 1 for lambda 0. Then we calculate the strangeness of uh, different other strange particles assuming that they are conserved in strong interaction. See one example in this reaction we already assumed that the yes the strangeness for this lambda zero is minus one so since the strangeness is conserved in this reaction we conclude that the k zero have a k zero has a uh, strangeness equal to plus one similarly in this reaction so these are the calculated strangeness values for the different strange particles this k plus k0 have uh, plus one strangeness in k0 bar and k minus which are the and the particles of this k0 and k plus having the strangeness of minus one and this lambda zero how we already said it has minus one and the sigma plus sigma zero sigma minus the sigma family have the strangeness minus one and the psi zero psi minus the psi family have strangeness minus two and omega minus has uh, the strangeness minus three and we already mentioned that the decay of the strange particles are in general by weak interaction see one example this decay of this lambda zero particle we already mentioned that the lambda zero particle has a strangeness is equal to minus one so which decay into p plus pi minus both are non-strange particle hence s equal to zero zero hence the total change in strangeness delta s equal to zero minus minus one that is plus one so it is a weak interaction so it, it is not conserved the strangeness need not be conserved in the weak interaction similarly for the psi zero particle it decays into lambda zero one pi zero where the lambda zero have is equal to minus one pi zero zero so delta is equal to minus one minus minus two that is delta s equal to plus one similarly for this reaction this delta s equal to plus one but the sigma zero is the only hyperon even though it is a strange particle the sigma zero decay without violating the strangeness conservation see the sigma zero decay the sigma zero is decayed into lambda zero plus gamma where the, where the sigma zero and lambda zero both have the strangeness s equal to minus one so this is conserved hence this reaction is considered as an electromagnetic interaction rather than the weak interaction since the strangeness is conserved in both electromagnetic and strong interaction it is more cons uh, considered as a uh, electromagnetic interaction so in short each hadron is assigned a strangeness yes which is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interactions that is delta s equal to zero but not in weak interaction where delta s equal to zero plus or minus one thank you